played a good first half of basketball. We defended pretty well. Uh, and the only thing I thought that, that kind of kept uh, uh, Worcester on a close distance to us was the fact that we turned over the ball too, too much and they were able to get some easy scores in transition and that kept them close to a six-point margin going to the half. So I thought first half was good. Second half, uh, they had a, a big third quarter. We were not able to stop them. We, you know, they, they scored like seven or eight possessions in a row and they found momentum. And unfortunately on the offensive end, we missed a lot of, of open looks uh, and we were not able to convert on shots that we did make on the first half. And as a result, our defense was not able to give us offense as well. Uh, so that was kind of a bit of a problem really. It came down to miss shots. We tried to kind of bring things back towards the end of the game in the fourth quarter, but it was a bit too late at that point. You know, at the end of the day, if you've got to make shots, it's about players making big plays on key moments. And we needed that to happen today and it didn't happen for us. Um, we, we got to, you know, it's been a tough season for us. We've been right there with all the teams. We have the respect of all the teams, but we haven't been able to get those results to be able to make that run in the playoffs. And unfortunately, this loss means that we're definitely out of the playoffs now. So now we have three games. We've got the Plymouth game coming up tomorrow. And our concentration is let's try to get as many wins as we can in those three games and let's finish the season on a high. It has been disappointing and it's disappointing to lose another close game at home. But we've got a, it's part of the process we're going through as a club. And with no Cardell McFarlane tonight, you move Greg Street to the point guard position. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, I think Greg, it's the second game that he's playing at the point guard position. Uh, it's just an adjustment we had to make because of injury, but also we're trying to see how Greg is going to be there, having the ball more in his hand, being able to make decisions. Um, I think he's done well so far. Probably he turned it over a bit too much today, but overall he's being a bit more aggressive with it and uh, he's being more of a playmaker, which Greg, uh, you know, I feel he can be a really a great asset to us in our team as a playmaker. So that's what we're kind of trying to get without it. But unfortunately that wasn't enough today to get the win. Uh, but we just got to, it, it, the, the games are coming quick now, so we've got to concentrate on tomorrow's game. We've got to try to get a win tomorrow in Plymouth. And as you mentioned, tonight's result does mean the playoff race is over this year for the Flyers. What do you take from tonight going into these final three games? We competed. We competed for 40 minutes. Guys are working hard. Guys believe in what we do. Unfortunately, results are not going our way. We cannot close out those games. We're right there and we're competing. It's no lack of effort, uh, but we just have not been able to close out those games. And, and we've got to go to those last three games, give everything we have, uh, and hopefully get a few big wins just to kind of finish that season on a high uh, and try to make sure we finish as high as we can up the league table. Um, and then we've got to spend the summer a bit and regroup and um, see where we goes from there, really. But it's tough. It's tough. It's tough for all of us, you know. We, we're a winning club. In 12 years I've been here, this is going to be the first time that we haven't made the playoffs in any level that we've been. So that hurts. It hurts with the guys. It hurts me. So, uh, but, but, you know, sometimes things have to go bad before they go good. And we're going through this process. It's been a tough second year for us in the league. But I really believe in our team. I really believe in what we do here. And I think we're going to be stronger for it in the future.